Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight we're going to be playing some not Atari Lynx. We're going to be playing some Atari 8 bit Woo! games Bring on, on the, the Atari 800 XL. Yes. Yes. He's very excited. He's very excited. Welcome, everyone. Uh, we have a bunch of games tonight. A bunch of, let's say, smaller games. I love it. Yep. Love it. So let's check them out. We're going to be playing Anti Air, Bober Dash, Run Fox Run, Jail, Code Brown, Bum Bum Box, uh, something in Polish, and something in Polish, <laughs> and. Mazam. Nice. I, I do have the translations and pronunciations Excellent. below. You'll so get to that later, I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but before we get to all these amazing games, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers who help support the cats. Okay, uh, 8-Bit Poet, Alan the Ferranger, yeah. Atari Armscar Coder, Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Blips Week, a BR Pokemon, Bruno Steck, okay. Captain Classic, Charles Donamel, Charles Wheel, Chitla, Cyrano Eboot, Dan FC, Daryl 1970, Drexel, Dr. Moo, Cows, Gamma Dev, Gizberto, Rondinelli, Great Defender Ground Trooper, Orju, Araldo Orju, it's Kev, KGKSPSX, Johnny WC, Kabuto Coder, Carl G, Karakat, Croco 2600, Developed for Lambda Express, Mandy Sipping, T Mark, Yannis, Mark Spacing, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, McTell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Neomi, Nostalgia, Puto Graphics, mm -hmm. Koha, Ritz, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, Fiji, Retro Gamer, Revan, Tulip, Dakota, Kim, Sp Six Sweet, Smitty B, Spice Horse, Spinley, Esmeris, D Train, Tiki Dan, KT, Post, TM Events, Track MD, Tween, FX Rex, VG, Double Down, Help. James Kitty, subscribe to ZPH. Yes. Dan says, help subscribe. kitties. Say it, kitties. Meow, subscribe. If Feed you, those kitties. <laughs> if you would like to help those kitties <laughs> and subscribe to the uh, subscribe to Twitch, subscribe to the show, you can hit subscribe. It's free with Amazon Prime, just like Carl G did Yay, just before thank you, the show. G. Thank you so much, <clears throat> Carl G. And welcome, WWD Kong. That's a, name, right? <laughs> that's a that's lot, a, of, that lot of kitties. That's a lot of kitties. That's a lot of kitties. Where did you get all those kitties from? <laughs> that's awesome. So many kitties. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, so I have a poll question. Uh, relates. It's it's relates to the show. Um, <laughs> what do you think of the Twitch countdown? Right now, I have a set for thirty minutes before the show starts. I see. Is that too long? Uh, the uh, the answers or the options are, it's just right. Uh, or two, too long. Three, too short. Four, no, no opinion. opinion. <laughs> I give a lead in to the show, half yeah. an hour, so people can... Stop it, please. Listen to some wonderful music. L listen to some, uh, yeah, pokey music. Yes. Um, talk with other fans of the show. <laughs> yes. Um, watch the numbers go down yeah <laughs> um just so you have an idea of when the show is going to start but i could put it at 10 minutes i could have put it at 15 yeah that's could true. put it at 45 i just picked a half an hour and yeah yeah mm. it, oh, I, what i i do think is that people seem pretty happy um <laughs> Apparently, uh, one 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 yeah yeah uh i do think it's nice because you get that warning and then yes. you know exactly how long you can say oh it's 20 minutes okay i can do this this exactly or put it on the background i know it's going to come up we're not all like sitting around waiting for stuff to do we're all doing stuff so yes. it's nice to get a lead in so that you can yes. you know adjust your what, yeah. you're, what you're working on double down says is there an option regarding to its accuracy <laughs> uh, um no mostly it's because <laughs> i'm i'm waiting for the co-host whoever it That's might be very true it might be tanya <laughs> There might be traffic, might be Darcy. I, I have no control might over be traffic. Bus, bus issues. Yeah. Sometimes it's me. I'm getting things ready. I don't have things quite ready. Sometimes so. computer shut down five minutes before you're about to go on air. Glad but it's, um, uh, I'm glad it's before, yes. not during. Usually. Yeah. This new computer's been very, very good so far. Yeah. Um, yeah. So sometimes you need extra, extra minutes. So I throw a couple extra minutes on. Yeah. 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 Um, but everybody, uh, yeah, Vitoka likes the chat. There, there might go. be a train on fire rolling through the city. It often happens. You oh, never know. <laughs> uh, London, Ontario just had that. Oh, is that? Did you see that? No. There was a train that caught fire and it like rolled through and came to a stop by like a hotel or something. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, ah. And they were trying to figure out, you know, what caused it. Most likely arson, but they're not sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Trains <laughs> catch on fire all the time. Uh, yeah. Uh, we have some big uh, shows coming up. Um, car f cars full of railroad they were, ties. It, they were full of rail railroad ties wow. that they were actually moving somewhere to dispose of. 
and it caught fire and it was like rolling th and so there's all this footage of it rolling th through the city were they pre soaked in that creosote, creosote. <laughs> but all all it's railway tires are but then like the question is is how did they catch on fire and you know they're not ruling out arson that yeah. someone tried to throw something yeah, anyway we'll, we'll see BVG double down. I've been to London, but it's been years. Wasn't me. Swear to God. Kitten. Hey, hey. Yeah. Uh, hmm, I don't know. You brought it up. I don't know. Yeah. Trump uh, supporters in Canada. Yes. There's lots of Trump supporters in Canada. Way too um, many, unfortunately. <laughs> for some crazy reason. Crazy though. Meow. Um, so we do have some um, big shows coming up. I just wanted to say off the top. Um, Ne on the next show on Friday, we have the exclusive world <laughs> premiere of VHZC's new game, Robo Tito. Mm. Um, and then next Tuesday, we have the an exclusive look at the update to Microvaders, nice, nice, nice. as well as an interview with Carl <clears throat> Forehand from Songbird. So definitely tune in for those two shows that are coming <laughs> up next. Um, Let's go back to this. So we have some news. Um, so Batari posted this the other day on Saturday. He said, for the past month or so, I've been able to use a concerto cart to play games in the 2600 plus. You'll need a firmware update for this to work and I'm still working out some kinks, but it should be available before too long. Nice. How it works. Rename the game you want to play to autorom.a78 and put it in put it on, on in an SD card uh, with new firmware. The game will then run on the 2600 plus. I will post a video shortly. Interesting. So what I'm guessing is that if you put a game called autorom.a78, it doesn't go to the menu. It just loads it mm -hmm. into memory. And the, um, the 2600 plus plays what's ever on it okay. like you put a cartridge on gotcha. it doesn't work right now with menus so this will hey 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 oh don't complain <laughs> don't complain um so this will automatically load it as the one game that's on the cartridge and treat it like it's a separate a cart individual cart wow so he hasn't released uh, this the, the yet, update yet, the firmware update, gotcha. and he hasn't posted the video yet, but yeah. I mean, it's, it's not much to see on the video mm -hmm. other than him placing a file maybe, and then turning it on. <laughs> but that, that's really, really cool for people who own a 2600 plus. Um, and this was posted today. Um, uh, I saw it on Facebook, but it is a new Atari 7800 power supply. Mm. Now why this is exciting is because the Atari 7800 has a very, very specific end that you plug into the 7800. Mm. It's not a barrel jack. There's a million of those. Oh, really? This is a, a very a shaped piece of plastic, wow. as you can see right there. Oh, wow. It's very specific. Mm -hmm. That is on, like, one other thing. I think somebody found another item online, I think, five or ten years really? ago. That, that has had the, the exact same, same end. And they started cutting, like buying them and cutting them off and readapting them. Yeah. But this is one that somebody else has made. They've made a new end. It's at mm. atarirepairparts.com. He says, they say, here we have finally, after 30 years, a quality and reasonably priced replacement power supply for the Atari 7800. This is a custom made power supply with a proper custom connector that will plug directly and snugly into your Atari 7800 without requiring any modifications to your system. Well, we could have added a fake Atari logo and a fake Atari CO part number to the housing like others. We have proudly placed our own logo on this part because uh, Atari Repair Parts has quickly become known as your best option, blah, 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 for looking for the gold standard. Yeah. Uh, replacement parts, blah, blah, blah. Buy as many or as few as you like, as often as you like. Strictly no BS here. Uh, these throw on some shade at somebody else. Oh, but, I see. <laughs> um, but I bought two immediately because... <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> these are these are not easy to get. To come by? Because, like the power supplies? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess back in the day you could buy a separate power supply, but how many people did that? No, not that many. But now that there's they're failing or whatever, mm -hmm. now you have to find a power supply without a 7800. And that's, that's getting harder and harder. Mm -hmm. um, and people in the meantime... 
uh, huge ass like huge ass says um some people have re um replaced the end with a barrel jack okay um, and and in the actual machine yeah in the machine yeah and, that and, that would make sense that that's a lot easier yeah, to deal with yeah because it is just interesting it's a nine volt one amp it's super 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 yeah. common uh -huh. um oh eight bit poets excited <laughs> oh i need this <laughs> yeah there you yeah. go so uh i'll post that oh al's asking european pu european plug too i don't know about that it is um uh, you just need adapter mm. uh this uh goes from 100 to 240 oh so it works from japan to europe so you just Japan's need the adapter 100, but it has the... 110 europe's 220 gotcha. 240 whatever yeah um yeah so you just need that adapter so that it would plug into the oh, wall that's with good whatever circles shapes connections yeah. <laughs> you want it works in the, all over the world far superior plugs that yeah. they have in yes. other countries That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bigger but superior yeah uh ivory tower collections I, I sent this to him earlier and he already saw it of course i prefer not to mod but yeah some folks like that option i might order two of these to have one in the lab for lots to use as yes. a spare because why not that's what i thought spares I, are good i have one spare yeah um but like two Two is one and one is none, and yeah. I don't like having one. So <laughs> yeah. I thought, you know, it's good to have extras. Always, always, always good to have extras of everything. Um, and I think that is all the news. So uh, he says there's unlimited of them, so I don't have to worry too much. But I would, I would buy them earlier rather than later. Who knows how many 7,800 people uh, have been waiting for this for a long time um uh okay i think we can get to it so today we're going to be playing two games plus a bunch of games that were from a contest well okay. uh, a game jam game jams game can jams? be contests yeah. yeah and they they might Just not dem be contests. demoing games yeah yeah doing games quick good games quick nice. um it's from uh gravitas gravitatia uh, means gravitation. Gravitatia. Okay. Um, and that was held from April fifth to seventh, and nice. on the seventh they were all posted, and they it was a contest because they gave them a uh, ranking. So we're going to be playing through those. There's seven of those, and they're all you know they have to do them I think within uh, thirty six hours. So they're nice. not huge games. Mm -hmm. so they're all pretty quick and simple games. That's why I put them all together. But first, we're going to be playing uh, Anti-Air by Inufuto, a Japanese developer that we've played all of his other games on the show. And he makes them cross-platform. Mm. So they're available on 50 different systems. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that's very cool. He's done yeah. Aerial, uh, Ascend, Battlelot, Bootscale, uh, K-Corm, Cavit, Cracky, Guntus, Hopman, and Petus, Lift, Maisie, Neurus, and Ruptus. Mm. Um, on the Atari systems, he's made them on, I know, Atari 8-bit, <laughs> uh, 5200, and now recently he's updated them all for Lynx mm. as well. Wow. Uh, no 7800 yet, but you never know. Maybe in the future. And you can download these from Infuto, Infuto's website. You can find the link on my listings on the Atari Age, mm. on the Atari 8-bit uh, listings. Um, so this one is called Anti-Air, and I will get it going while uh, I read the instructions to you. Okay. So here's the joystick. Getting comfy, sorry. Oh, okay. Check it up the legs. I'm sure there's a way to uh, make it. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Very, very exp um, expectant cats here right now. Yeah, okay. of course. Uh, where am I going? Guess. Date. Today's date. That's right. Anti-air first? Anti-air. 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 Both work. Yep. Go for it. Uh, uh, for top one. Standard? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the instructions are, the, it's pretty straightforward shooter. Okay. Um, uh, the mission is cleared by destroying all UFOs while avoiding bomb, falling bombs and blocks. Blocks cannot be destroyed by your own bullets, but will disappear if hit by enemy bombs. So you'll, you'll get used to it. So you don't try. Did you plug it in? Yes. Or is it being funny? It could be. Try it again. 
Try it again. Keep pressing it. This is part one, right? What's oh. happening? Uh-oh. Cats? Cats have fluffed it up again. Try it again. Did something Keep explode? Keep pressing it. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Let's turn it off and turn it back on. Mercury is in retrograde. That's right. <laughs> That's definitely what's happening. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, uh, for two accidentally? One? Maybe? Uh, unlikely, but it's possible. It happens. Yeah, try now. Yep. Weird. There we go. In your feet out. Why? Why? So I dodge the blocks and dodge the bombs? Dodge the blocks. You can shoot the bombs. And the blocks block you. Oh! Well, that, can I shoot the blocks? Um, the enemies drop. So move out of the way. That's how you can get rid of them. Nice. So you kind of want to lure the bombs to the blocks, I suppose? That makes sense. Ivory Tower Collection put in in order. Yes. I also bought some 5200 um, overlay repairs because they were very cheap. Ah, okay. I get it. I get it. Yeah. I get it now. <laughs> You haven't left much space, but to get right to the block. Oh, that was one pixel away from death. One pixel away from Is death. That as close as you can get to the block? I don't want to get. Well, I guess I can get closer. Because the closer you get, the closer the bomb is, the further a bomb is away from you. Uh... So, Inufido makes uh, these very, very, very simple games. Um, and he makes them so that I think his designs are made so that you can port them to a variety of systems. So he doesn't make them too complicated. He knows that, okay, all these systems can handle X enemies going across no. the screen or X ah. objects across the screen. So they automatically drop the bombs, but not those kind? You have to shoot those? Um, I don't know. Or do they drop the green ones automatically too? So you can dictate where the, that one gets dropped. The, um, the yeah. blocks, I guess. Do they automatically drop blocks too sometimes? I think they repeatedly drop blocks. Like one, one uh, UFO will drop multiple. It looks like they drop their bombs if you shoot them. Ah. Okay, so they do drop the greens. And they, drew, they drop everything. Never mind. Oh, it's getting getting crowded. That it is. Oh, I did that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's okay. Tight fit in there. Very tight. There you go. Oh, he oh, okay. dropped it just as you shot it. Uh, you cannot shoot the blocks. Well, you can shoot them, they just don't do anything. So that's a difference. Um, you can shoot them to release the blocks. Hey, hey, Stinky. He is, he is hey, raring hey. to go for uh, treat time. He is. This is fun. I and, like it. And the greens explode right away. And the yeah. bombs don't. Ooh. Oh! Do you want to play? Yes. And you can shoot the green bombs. Oh my god. The enemies do look like they're sticking their tongues out at us. <laughs> Doesn't it? It's nah. like... <laughs> nah. I'm going to drop something. It's like they're spitting at you. They're spitting down from, from the sky. I keep forgetting I can shoot them. Like the bomb that killed me, I could have just shot in the air. Yes. <laughs> so you can make it release the bomb. Yeah. Where you want it. Yeah, and, and you definitely want to do that when you get cornered. You also Kitten, make it release please. the block where you want. Please, cat. Please. Please. Please, please. kitties. Be a good kitty. I think you can shoot two bullets at a time. 
stage six. Ooh. Bombs coming down now. Oh yeah. Oh. So if you get right up to the block, oh, they refill themselves. They do. Uh, you you want to shoot the blocks, the guys that drop the blocks. You want to get them because the bombs really. Except you know, shot. Sometimes yeah. it just it resolves they, itself. <laughs> they drop it just as Yeah. Well it's if really you shoot cute. the guys with this the blocks, really they drop the blocks anyway, so the eight bit poet says bad kitty pss, pss, pss. <laughs> Now that bad got kitty. his that got uh, yeah. Sprite's attention. He knows that. All cats know that inherently. Because it kind of sounds like a cat hissing. Yeah. Did it the, does. Did the blocks disappear at all? Or did they stay there forever? Until something drops on them. Oh, okay. I think it stays, yeah, it stays level to level too. Oh, wow, it carries over. Okay. Boy. A little bit of, uh... Ah. Shoot! Oh, so lucky. No. Skill! Sure. <laughs> sure. We'll go with that. It's getting a little glitchy here yes. and there with us. This, this many. Uh, oh, there's a lot on the screen. I can. It's really cute. This is really cute. It is cute. Nostalgic says I do like the mechanic of the enemies dropping bombs and blocks. That keeps things interesting. It, it does. It really does. I've seen games uh, have those kind of block dropping mechanisms before, where you're blocked in, but they usually disappear. I haven't seen one where it's it's uh, persistent. I think. The thing is, when you start, ah, oh, explosion. Very cute. That was very cute. It's gonna be fast and furious today. We're gonna be going through games. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, ninety percent of people voted just right. Half an hour is just right. Okay, Good. we'll keep it out. I'm kind of glad. To, I'm glad to hear that because it gives me enough time too. Uh, it to seems like a lot of people like to listen to music and chat as well before the show starts. Yes. So that's kind of nice. Uh, Ten percent said it's too short. Ten <laughs> percent too yeah. short. They yeah. want they want a full like two hours. Two hour lead up. <laughs> permanent chat. Yeah. Well, no. the music is really Where enjoyable. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, nostalgic's trying to prime Atari for a win. Oh, oh there's arcades. so much catnip on the ground there. It's pretty filthy. It is filthy. Needs a robot to come down here. Here, oh, vacuum you. it up. All right. Thank you, Nostalgic. Thank you, the cat. Say thank you for the catnip. Let's get some catnip going. Are you guys? Are you? Are you ready? Ready, you ready for I some see catnip? Some big eyes there. there you go some catnip. Come on, Sprite. 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 We need you to get nice Sprite. and high. Come on, babe, baby. What, what's going on? <laughs> he thought I was bringing down treats. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'll, I'll move for treats. Catnip. Eh. Atari. There you go. There Atari. he goes. Atari. Come back in here. Come on. Come on. Nostalgia gave you some yeah, catnip. Yeah, have some catnip. He got scared. Carl G, just keep it running all the time. All the time. <laughs> yeah. Just 24, 24 hour, hour loop one, two days and five hours to go. <laughs> <laughs> Good kitties. Okay, so if you want to load up the next one. All right, what are we up to? Do I go left? Left in the button. That's what I there thought. There you go. So the first one is, actually, Upper. we have to take a look at the contest first. Oh, that uh, these games are from. Yes, just quickly look at the contest. Said PH, the Pokey Radio Station. <laughs> That's right. Just when you thought you got out of the... Um, radio business. The radio business, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Pulled back in. Yep. So here is the website. Oh, it cuts off the top of it a little bit. So let's translate it to English. Mm-hmm. 
There we go. It took uh, so it is pronounced uh, gravitatia means gravitation. It was April fifth to seventh, uh, held in uh, Krakow. Um, Eight bit game jam is a hackathon event in which teams of programmers, graphic artists, and musicians will be tasked in thirty six hours write the game on any eight bit platform. There are no restrictions on the programming language and tools used. Only limitation will be pre imposed about the game, uh, which the participants will only learn before the competition starts. Uh, the competition aims to activate the game dev 8-bit scene, integrate the environment, and promote retro gaming platforms. We return with the sixth edition of our unique competition. More than 100 people from different parts of Poland and more. So far, we've managed to write over 40 games, <gasps> including one on the Casio PB100 calculator. Um, number of places limited to 40. Uh, we do not expect a separate sleeping room. <laughs> so you'll be up for the whole time or sleeping on the floor. Uh, and I wonder what the rules are. Quickly look at the rules for this. Uh, you have to be in person. You have to be an adult. Yeah. Uh, three people in a team. Yeah. Uh, you have to be in a team before picking the topic. You can join individually as well. Uh, prizes award to the leader, not members individually. So you have to pick a leader, <laughs> and the leader doles it out, I suppose. I guess the leader, the leader takes all. Yep. Uh, you can use anything you want to make the game. Nice. But uh, here are the results. Um, so we're gonna play them in order of we're gonna play the winner first. Okay. And then proceed down from there. So here, let me just translate it. So the topic was camera, was the. Uh, just like in uh, short film competitions, okay, like 24, 48, 72, they give you some things to put in your movie, some phrases. This one was, topic was a camera. Okay. Uh, I didn't translate some, perfectly. Some very interesting titles there. Uh -huh. Yes. Um. Very strange. <laughs> so the points uh, range from 7.46 down to 5.26 out of 10, maybe. I don't know how it's doled out. We'd have to uh, read that up, but that would be very boring to read. I'm very curious about this colonosc colonoscopy <laughs> game. Yes. <laughs> it, it is not graphic whatsoever, so don't mm. worry about that. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's... Um, I think that's all the information gotcha. we really need. So the first up is Boberdash. So let's load up a Boberdash. Boberdash, maybe. Um this, uh, all these were posted originally April 7th. This is a 23K game. Um, a harvest of fruit began to die in the allotment gardens. This is translated. Uh, desperate parcels gathered together and installed a professional monitoring system. Now they're waiting to detect the suspect perpetrator of those wicked feathers. We control the beaver, which must avoid uh, the field of view of surveillance cameras. The game version contains eight levels, okay. but Salmax obviously promises the final version with a much larger num number of them. So this was made by Salmax, uh, who is uh, Christian Valchik, uh, uh, Marduk, as well as Michal Radecki Mikalik. So go for it! So, you are the beaver in the bottom left, and you have to get uh, six fruit in this level. And you can see the spotlights going at 90 degrees each time. I can't move up. This has been naughty. I think so. Okay, try, try a spot where you can try moving up. Okay. I gotta look at these ports or joysticks. They're being very naughty lately. So there's no time limit that I can see. Uh, colonoscopy, the sequel to a Magic's Microsurgeon. Yes, <laughs> that's what I expect. Microsurgeon had this uh, kind of this view of the body and you traveled through the body to fix, fix the problems. I'm guessing that top right is the exit mm -hmm. as soon as you finished. So there's three three cameras. Since they're going 90 degrees each time, it's not that difficult to avoid them. Yeah, the 
music's uh, nice and relaxed. Oh, and it uh, changed. Yay! You Bober. want to do the next one? We'll go back and forth. Bober one! Bober! Bober! Bober the beaver! Bober the beaver. So I have to Your make it all the way back. Very common in Europe. Yeah. I thought they were kind yeah. of a Canadian mammal, but or North American mammal. Hmm. What? Bober. Oh, oh I, I, I walked right into it. I did. What? Oh, I have to do it all over again. <gasps> oh, what? No. Really? Yeah, I was really slow when I did it. Yeah, I, You're I, like, whoosh, 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 whoosh. That's not how I play games. <laughs> I know, I know. I like the tune, too. Yeah. 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 That was close. Hi, are you hungies? Yeah, you only get one are life. Are you high? Bubber one. You should Either more, win or lose. You There's only have more catnip. There's lots of catnip <laughs> all over the floor. You've made a huge mess of it. Yeah. There's lots of catnip while you wait for treat time. Yeah. You're so, you're so soft. How's this beaver doing? Uh, so far, so good. <sighs> Not there. On the diagonals. Yep. Stay on the diagonals. Between. Let's go. Yep, yep. Safe. And you have to follow these. Bubber! Bubber! I've got a kitty. Hi, Level kitty. three. Remember, you can't die. Go right back to the beginning. Carl G says this one's pretty cool. Whoa! 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 That is a lot. <gasps> and dead. That totally. And do we have to start again? Yes, we do. So we're oh, done with this one. Okay. <laughs> very, very cute. That is very cute. So let's go back. Looks good. Yes. There you go. All right. To the second place, which is uh, Run Fox Run, which was actually updated today. Oh. Very nice. Oh, kings. This is made by uh, Wojtek Bachas <laughs> Bauchaski. We'll do this. There we go. Bauchaski. Uh, Adam Vahovsky and Piotr Lis. 15K uh, XEX. This game is about a crazy fox escape through the forest. We need to avoid the trees and avoid the photo traps that blind us for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. The forest becomes more dense over time, and our pre precious energy escapes with every uh, un uh, ups, uh, mm, that didn't translate well. <laughs> every bush or tree. Note: play for one button. Use fire to switch between two directions of the fox running. Stay on the opposite side where the flash is, yeah. And avoid the trees. Oh, flash! Ah. So the energy is on the right hand side, and you're every time you hit the bush, it goes down. And ah. you get points for just traveling. And I guess ah, uh, flash. But you don't get hurt with the flash, you no. just get blinded with it. So as long as you know where you're going. Poor little fox. It's cute. It's got a wiggly tail. And you do bounce off the sides. You always go at a uh, 45 degree angle. Ah, get in the bush. Ah, ah, ah. I assume, ah. Um. get denser? The bushes get denser? It says it, the bushes do get denser. Oh, so hard. Ah, game over. 189. <sighs> That's cool. Patoko says, I think this game concept yeah. should work for a 10-liner. I, I think, think so, yeah, too. I think it would. It's, yeah. it's fairly straightforward. Yep. Yeah. Just things I go like down the, the screen. I like the background. I like the force litter on the force floor. Ah! <laughs> That's fantastic, Mr. Fox. Yeah. Mm, this makes me think of Activision skiing a little yes. bit. Yes. Yeah, it's got it a does. bit of that game mechanic, doesn't it? It's, oh. It is truly a continuous runner game. It is. Um, but a vertical one. Well, yeah, you or don't diagonal see... one almost. <laughs> yeah, almost. 
you can only go diagonally. That's that's pretty cool. Oh, it's, it's, it makes you have to rethink how you're moving. Mm-hmm. Oh, not a fan of one button games like this where you change directions with one button. Would rather have it left and right, but um, it, it works. It's not too bad. That's why I changed the pack line or kept the yeah. pack line as, as left to right. Yeah. Some versions had had it as um, single button turns. Oh. Ah. Yeah, it doesn't hurt your energy level when no. the, the light goes off. You just have to know what's on the screen. It's very neat. Ah! It's getting very dense at oh. points now. Oh, I look love at the this. little running uh, animation of oh, the fox, so too. So cute. Oh, I'm almost dead. Fo fox um, are so adorable with the way oh, that they, they run. They're like cats and dogs mixed yeah. together. When I lived in Ontario, you would see fox, red fox, fox quite frequently around the area that I lived in. Oh, baby cats, so, so whiny. Why, why are you so, uh... Almost dead. Are you? Oh, getting there. Oh, you're doing really well, though. 319. I do like the tune. Yep, very good music. Yeah. Do -do 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 Fox can run. It's a marathon <laughs> run, fox. Run, run. I don't know where he's running to, but oh. pretty much just have to deal with the flash. No, deal with the flashes. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, oh ho -ho. so close. Not much more left. No. Uh oh. Did you see him? Did you see the fox on the screen? He was looking up at it for a was second. He? Yeah. he does like laser pointers. He does like he things does. jumping around. Atari doesn't care about laser pointers whatsoever. No, it's funny. So I, I think we told you that we were getting or we got a feeder, an automatic feeder for the cats. Yeah. For their dry food in the morning because these cats are a nightmare in the morning. Well, specifically Sprite. He just meows and meows until we wake up, and he meows then because he wants mm -hmm. his breakfast and company. He he, he misses us overnight. So I we figured. thought, oh, there you go, right into the tree. Why do some trees have a mark? I don't, I don't know. Some trees are cut off too. Mm. But that mark is the the camera. Oh, yeah, that's the flash the of the camera the to flash scare the, camera. the foxes off, I guess. Yeah, or take photos of them. Yeah, take sure. photos of the foxes. Um. Um, but uh, it's been working. This guy's been quieter in the morning, and it's working exactly how I thought it would. Is he's hanging around upstairs away from our bedroom door. Yeah. Waiting for the treats to disp the food to dispense. dispense. Yeah. And we've set it for a quarter of their morning food. In 15 minutes. In 15 minute increments. increments. So this is about when he starts whining in the morning. Yeah. So he has to stay up there for uh, an hour almost. An hour. Waiting for the well, forty-five for the minutes. Dry food. Yeah. It would be five for an hour. Yeah. Um, forty-five minutes just waiting for more to come down. Yeah. <laughs> and the other morning he was crying upstairs. Yeah. Because he didn't want to come down to miss the food. Yeah. He's like meow, meow, oh, and then then it dispensed and he ran. Yeah. And quieted down. It's <laughs> yeah. so funny. Okay, time for the next game. That one's very cute. Very, very, very good. Yeah. We lost Atari. <laughs> he's right over there. Oh, is he? Yeah. Is he? Oh, ne he, I see. He's just hiding. Next one's called Jail, if you'd like to load it up, uh, by uh, Mariush Eheshtet and Kashishtof Kazimirchak. Kazimirchak. Yeah, it is tough. Um... <laughs> It's called Jail. The hero of the classic game Submission went to prison and now you have to help him escape hiding in the strip with a sliding shadow. So this is um, 
very much like, oh, what's that game called? Oh. You have to hide in the shadow. Uh. Oh my goodness. I have to running. walk continuously. I think you're the same speed as it, which makes it a little bit easier. Ugh. Go to the edge of the... A little bit. There you go. Hooray! Oh my goodness. So, oh, Spies in the Night. That's what I'm thinking of. Yes, I got it just before you typed it, Nostalgic. Yeah. Um, oh goodness. Yeah, Spies in the Night 1 and 2 both have this similar, not quite the same mechanic. So in level 3, this one is a quite a different pattern. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, it's good that you're the same speed as it. Yeah. But it's also like, oh no, you have to be perfect if you if you go off the mark for even a second. <sighs> so close. <laughs> it was too early. Uh, security cameras, yes, the contest theme. So the last one was the flash of the camera, kind of taking the picture of the fox. Level four. And this one is the security camera. Ugh. Oh. It's so not too bad. And then straight on. That's it, that's not too bad. It's kind of like the second level. So you kind of stop there. Jiggle jiggle, just before the security camera. Very similar. Very similar. And the first one was squirrels. Or beaver. Um, beaver? The, the beaver getting uh, getting past the cameras. Whoa! Whoa! Good one! Nice. Level 7. This kind of um, action and pattern recognition. Nice. Once you get used to it, it's not too bad. Giggle. Giggle. And done. Uh, I'm getting a Rocky Horror Picture Show vibe. With the outfit. <laughs> Those windows are helpful landmarks, remembering where the shadows change. Yeah. Yeah, they do. They are Ugh. good. Oh. Still hard. <laughs> the shadows should be a bit wider. I think it should no. start wider, maybe, and then later levels yeah, go smaller. Yeah, like you can that make the be... level difficulty. Oh, it's so easy to walk out of it, though. <laughs> it is. It stops, you go. It takes like half a second to walk out of it. Whoa, whoa, ho, ho. That was close. Oh, you're done. Goes back oh, to level one. Woo. Nice. I like it. I like it. Let me play a couple of takes, takes takes a little bit of uh oh, you just need to get used to it. Yeah. As as you say, you move the exact speed of it, so it's not yeah. too bad. How far out can you go? Yeah, you can't go past way. far past that wall. About halfway out. Yeah, the Can you start right accidentally away? No. no. What is it jiggle? Ah Hard to time it up. I like the red flashing light on the uh, yeah. camera too. Very authentic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's, it's it's hard to stop moving. That's... You really have to know. Yeah. Oh yeah, you have to watch you the pattern. Can't, you can't. You have to memorize it. It's hard. Yeah, you it's can't. Hard. You can't move and, and react. You have to memorize mm. it. Okay. Good job. Very creative. Yeah, very creative. I like it. Good use of the camera. 
Uh, the next one is called Code Brown. Uh, this is by M Marek Ogwodek, Piotr Lees, um, Piotr Rodecki, and Rafał Shetitko. Uh, it's a 19K game, uh, and the instructions are, the year is 2068. Ooh. You go back to your apartment in a skyscraper with an urgent need, and the devices are completely crazy. The elevator does not work. The anti-burglary system has also been turned on. So the drone camera is fired and you have to climb higher and higher. That's the instructions. So the security cameras are on the drones in this one. Very good title screen. There you are. Oh. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so start scrolling. Very nice looking. Oh, there you are. It's hard to see. Where was I? You're on the second, bottom of the second set of stairs. Okay, you kind of flash in. Oh, he goes after me. So a really good jump. Oh, oh you fell goodness. off the screen. Can't touch him or the bullet. So to you can't jump a full level. You have to jump on the stairs and then jump off the stairs. <gasps> hey, hmm. none of that. None of that. Okay, these guys need to get fed soon. <laughs> oh, baby. oh, squeaky! Come here. come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Calm down. Oh, you can't go too Calm high, too fast. Down. <laughs> little chicken legs. You'll get your food soon. Oh, baby. Oh, I fell down. Beef supreme said that. I blame it on the cat. The movement is crazy. The movement's very unusual. I can't quite figure out what I'm doing because sometimes you go through the floor. Yeah, sometimes it, you sometimes don't land Sometimes you, you don't land. See? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. The stairs are not solid. No. They're kind of, if you don't land, oh my god. Ah. And sometimes you jump and you can keep jumping. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Crazy game. They spend all their time on the title screen, lol. The title screen <laughs> is beautiful. Oh, you can't jump above. And you jumped over? What? That's you can't funny. go off the screen at That's the top funny. or the bottom. You kind of phase in. Ah! Oh, he knocked me down. Oh, kitten. So demanding. A few bugs, says Oliver. Ah! Okay. Yeah, you do fall through the floor. I, d I don't know why you fall through the stairs and the floor, Baby. but you do. Ah! Ah! <laughs> now you're Baby. at it. Baby! Yes, I know. I know you want treats. It's like no one feeds you around here. <laughs> Only during the show. Okay, so when he touches you, you fall down. Okay, that makes sense. And when the bullet touches you, you just have to be a little calm. And not keep jumping. Yeah. Stay below that dude. Oh, it's doing a pretty good. Seems that there's some problem with the collision detection. There is something a little off. A little weird. I like the squirreling background, though. Yes, very nice looking. I don't think there is something wrong with the collision detection. I think what I've been, it was doing is getting hit by its bullet. Yeah, and then you fall through the floor? Yes. Then you fall through the floor until you recover somehow. See, now I'm doing fine if I'm not going too high and hitting that guy. I'm not falling through the floor anymore. He attacks you. You get too high. And he shoots a bullet when he sees you. You're doing really well. I think it's getting any harder. No, I don't see any points either. You'd no. think uh, it'd be like number of floors or something. Yeah, that'd be an easy way to do points. The kittens. Okay, so it kind of just repeats. But these are 
Yeah. Quick games, right? So. Give me treats or Bernie gets it, lol, says Dan. Ah. <laughs> yep. Ah. ah. Very cool. Very nice. Very nice intro. Yes. Too. I think that could be made into a really neat, uh, fun game. It's a good start. Mm -hmm. um, needs points, obviously. Just and I need uh, some more dangers, maybe, mm. and slow everything down and add more dangers mm. to it. I'm just wondering if anyone is in the mood to treat a few cats over here. Their uh, catnip should have uh, <laughs> dispensed. Dispensed and sunk That's it why in. Why are going crazy? Oh, yeah. Oh my God. Thank you, Eight Bit Poet. <laughs> thank you, Eight Bit Poet. It okay. is treat time. Look at oh my goodness. Cat what everywhere. A filthy mess, They're you cats. Filthy. Well, Man. we have a whole new bin of greenies to feed these hungry kitties. Because they finished them off. Oh my goodness. Okay, the bets are underway. Place your bets on this. You stay there. Black stay. cat. Oh, this black cat. Or the gray cat. Come on, Atari. Now they have had um, some catnip. Yeah. Atari. <laughs> and which tilts it in favor of Atari. A little we bit. Found a yes. tiny bit. Doesn't mean he's going to win, but we found. <laughs> Train the viewers. We have trained the, the viewers. The cats have trained <laughs> us, and we've trained you. Yes. Yes. Treats and catnip at the same time. Ooh. Mm. I don't know what they would do then. They'd go crazy. I think they definitely they they'd lean on the treats. Oh yeah. It's 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 the treats, treats over the catnip any day of the week with these two. Yeah. So let's see how people are betting. Uh, <laughs> everyone's betting oh, on Sprite. Oh, everyone's got Sprite. They've won to oh, two. Everyone on Interesting. Sprite. Interesting. Oh, there's a three plus oh, for Atari there. Good outlier yeah. bet. A small, no, small a, bet. A oh, bit filling oh, in a now. A little bit more. Excellent. Atari excellent. one and two and three plus are covered. Only nice. Sprite three plus is not covered now. <laughs> Somebody could throw ten on there and you never know. Yep. It's, it's, no. it's unlikely at this point, but... No, no not yet. not yet, eager cat. That was no. Atari. No, no. Atari so batting cat. at it. Yeah. Everybody's on uh, Sprite excited. 1 and 2. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. now it's all covered. Somebody's got Sprite 3 Plus. You gotta, you gotta cover. You're a big cover winner if that happens, because yeah. you're the only one. <laughs> we'll see. We've got about 20 seconds left. Yeah. So, do you have anything to say for yourself? Yeah. Sprite, and? yeah, you think you're going to win? Yeah. Let's yeah. Uh, do a pre-game interview. So, uh, Black Cat, what do you have to say? Hmm? No. Nothing? <laughs> Gray cat, what do you have to say? Oh, yes. Oh, trash talking. Trash talking. You gonna smack it? Smack it? <laughs> okay, Every we got five seconds. Still not left. getting the predict window. Did it get switched to subs only? No, Never. it shouldn't be. Never subs only. No. I don't have any subs only things. Yeah. Um, you have an ad blocker something. I don't I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we are ready to mm. go. All the bets are covered. Okay, cats. Are you ready? Ready for some gaming? Some cat gaming? Let me get some treats in my hands so I'm ready to go. Oh, you're going to get them really excited now. Are you ready, okay. cats? Okay. Enough? I should. Are you guys ready? And Set. Cats. Go. Let's oh, Atari Atari's off in the, the lead. races. 1 0 Atari. Sprite's having Sprite. some trouble. Atari's back to his bow. Oh, there's Sprite. Sprite's Atari got it. Atari again. Atari's in the lead. 2-1. Nice. He's got an early lead. Sprite's bringing up the rear, but he's having some soft paw trouble. Very much trouble. Oh, oh he's got it. Oh, there's oh, Atari. Atari's staying ahead by Ooh. one point this whole time. And Sprite there's has Sprite. found his paw. Oh, there's and Atari. Atari is keeping up. One ahead. He's eating the treats very fast. There, He's lost there. the treats. Oh, there's Sprite. Oh, Sprite's got it. Tied up 4-4. Four, four. Atari lost his treat, and that's what slowed him down. He's still looking for it. Get back to the bell. Get the bell. There, there we go, go, Atari. Do not look for lost treats. You're wasting time. Uh, Atari's ringing the bell. 6-5 for Atari. Sprite. Sprite's tied it up. 6-6. Six, six. Mm -hmm. Dan saying go Sprite. Well, he's 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 maintaining now. He's tied it up. Oh, oh Atari. Atari's got it. 7-6. And Sprite. Sprite has tied it up. Atari's oh. slightly Oh ahead. my goodness. Just by tiny, tiny, tiny whisker. Oh, oh he's got Atari. it again. He's still in the lead, but only by a bit. He doesn't have that commanding lead he had earlier. And Sprite. he's kind of regained it. And he's good. It's game point for Atari. 
It could happen. Atari could win. Sprite has tied it up. It's any cat's game. The next hit wins. Oh, and it's, it's over. Atari. Atari by a whisker. Congratulations. Some extra treats. Congratulations, Atari. Congrats, Atari. Geez. Congrats, Atari. Nail biter. A claw biter. <laughs> that was close. Oh, my goodness. So let's give out the points. It was bought Atari by one point. And who won? There was 2,000 bet on Atari. And it goes to Carl G. 14,000 channel points. Wow. Carl Good G and job. three other people. Very nice. Yep. Was Erlen watching nope. to witness this? Nope. <laughs> Nope, he's not in the oh, chat. Oh, no. Nope. See, that's why Atari won, because Erlink didn't see it. Yeah. He's, he wasn't part of it. <laughs> Good job, cats. Great job, Atari. Excellent. So we're back to the games. Yay! Can I pick up the yes, controller? I will. Congrats, kitties. Congrats, betters. Yep. Next game is Bum Bum Box <laughs> by Pavel Banis. Uh... Jergor uh, Jua and Philippe uh, Golevsky. So it says unfinished music game. Eventually, the game consisting. You can load it up. Not that oh. one. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, button, My apologies. Just pressing buttons. Blindly press the buttons. Eventually, the game consisting in reaction in a timely manner on the falling notes. You can connect an interactive map or a joystick. Currently, there is still little you can do in this game besides watching screens and listening to the adaption of known musicians. Great title screen. So it is a DDR game. So you can't really, you, you can't do anything right now. Oh. But it does have up, down, left, right, and fire. It's popcorn. It's my favorite game. Just my for you. Song. So you don't have to press the button to time it up. You just have to catch it. But it's there's nothing to do. Uh, it doesn't work right now. Oh. But all there's not much more to do to make it work. It's like, did it hit the bottom when your thing's under it? It seems yeah, like it would be point. quite hard. <laughs> it that's falling very quick. Nice. Now the theme of the camera is pretty loose because it's got a record, a uh, record and a battery in the corner. Mm don't know what it has to do with the main game. Press button. Press the button. Press the button. So it's a... Uh... Oh, yes. Oh, hissy. Yeah, there's no camera here. They kind of wedged it in at the end. It's like, oh, we took a picture of your results at the end. Oh, I see. I see. Points are given on the honor system. Yes, yes exactly. <laughs> Looks like it could be pretty Sounds good. Sounds like Guitar oh, Hero, yeah. Some garbage in the bottom there. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a, a pretty pretty interesting uh, version it's of it. It's a neat idea. Yeah, it's yeah. a neat idea. I think but, that could uh, work. So hopefully they'll continue on with it. Gamadev, Gamadev says, uh, Atari can't win if Erlen watches. It's the Erlen uncertainty principle of tree time. I think so. Well. Next game is uh, Colonoscopy uh, of Greg, or in Greg. Made by uh, Rafał Habowski, and uh, the game is pronounced in Polish Kalonoskalpia. Mm -hmm. U Greg's Gora Gorza? U yes. Gorza. Okay. Yep. And this is the Greg's Colonoscopy game? Yes. Yep. Put it up. Um, so that text translates to. Dungeon crawler game, actually, it's a gut crawler. World famous colonoscopy doctor uh, Greg undertakes at his place, a uh, patient's office who, how he says, a complete accident. He tripped and fell on his ass into the cup. Uh, it was a complete accident that happened. The cup got stuck in the depths of the pit uh, to the depth of less than. Uh, that didn't translate well. Uh, 150 millimeters. <laughs> Dr. Greg, he was holding his favorite colonoscopy using a billard cue <laughs> and went to the rescue straight into the dark and warm depths. It did not translate well. 
Um, okay, so... Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> So here's the instructions. <laughs> a plot in the classic style of the master engineer Raphael. Uh, a patient after an unusual accident with a cup needs the help of the fa famous colonoscopy of Gregor to retrieve the trophy. The, <laughs> trophy. Uh, the author places the game in, in the genre uh, uh, dungeon crawler. <laughs> On the left, we see a cross section of the patient's intestine. Nice. The yellow dot is the end of the endoscopic camera. Okay. On the right is the view from the camera. At the bottom, you can see the direction of the camera setting. You okay. need, be, need to be careful not to pierce the walls of the intestine. <laughs> if we get close to the cup, then on the right-hand side will appear a golden color. Okay. Okay. So we'll probably have to jump into it. Um, yellow is the end of the camera. Um, I don't understand already what's going on. So I, and it says on the screen. Uh, I pierced the wall. Doctor, he punched the, punctured the intestine. The patient died of sepsis. So left and right rotate the direction. I don't understand. Well, let's get the controls first. Press a button, get back into the game. Okay. Left and right rotate the direction. Press left and right. Keep pressing left and right so you can see the arrow changing. And then forward and back, move forward and back. Beyond that, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm doing The right or is the view from the camera. Um, and that's how deep you're going in. And I think you have to make it to 1.5? So you don't want it to be red. I think you're avoiding red. So you want it to be darker Black, and you want to yeah. move. My goodness. So left square is an invisible maze. Yes. Yes. And I think as you get closer to the walls, it goes red. Yeah. I'm already grossed out by this. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're there. You're so close to the cup. Okay. Let's go forward. Oh. It didn't even go red. It I was, don't understand. It was yellow the whole time. I'm missing something. <laughs> Gamadev, while some might say this is inappropriate for an Atari homebrew, if you're old enough to have played an Atari 8-bit as a kid, you're likely overdue for a colonoscopy. It's yeah, very yep. true. They know their audience. Yeah, you're not playing. <laughs> you play. You figure it out. Very true. The right yeah, it, there's something funny going on. Oh, he died immediately. I didn't even play. Yeah. So it's flashing. Is it? Oh, there's acceleration. Yeah, there is. There's also noises too. Oh, okay. Is beeping good? Yellow is good. Nope. Oh. Let's turn around. Maybe it's up. No. Is it to the right? <laughs> you win things a proctologist has never said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it down? Nope. No emulation here. No. No, we're playing on a, a Atari 800 XL PAL. I had it yellow. It's very confusing. Yeah, it didn't, doesn't say in the instructions what the beeping means at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> beeping is bad? <laughs> beeping is bad. I think it means you're getting close to the wall. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still grossed out by this. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, yep. You don't want the beeping. One beep is fine. What? Stuck in a corner? Every direction is massive beeping. Okay, let me go down then. 
kind of colonoscopy via sonar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Very bizarre game. Interesting. When when someone said the theme is camera, yeah, their first thought was a game about doing a colonoscopy. That is funny. <laughs> oh my. Oh no, beeping! Hooray! I don't know. Why is it flashing red like that? I don't know. I, I don't quite right... understand. Oh. Hey. DOS runner load. <laughs> <laughs> I nice. crashed it. Woo! Crash it. Well, I got close. Hopefully, to that doesn't it. happen when you have your colonoscopy. They don't crash the software in the middle of it. You know? uh, our software <laughs> crashed. Uh, we have to reboot. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Just turn it on and off and on again. That's right. Reboot it. <laughs> this game would work with no display. It absolutely would. It needs another beep for when you win, though. I, I just want to point out, Bum Bum Box, Code Brown, and a colonoscopy <laughs> game. I, yeah. I'm not sure if the theme is camera. <laughs> no, I think they uh, mistook the theme, maybe. Possibly, possibly. Okay, uh, the next and last one in the contest yeah. is uh, translates to with a camera among octopuses. Okay. Uh, and it was made by uh, Pavel uh, Gugala, and the Polish name for the uh, game is The Kamer O Sherut Ushmernica. Good job. Uh, and the instructions say. The public television video cameraman misunderstood the ordeal to deal with the subject of octopuses and captures the camera with the eye of the camera's real animals in their natural environment underwater. In the field of view, the camera must hold the octopus for a few seconds, holding okay. the fire button. In the target version of the game, the objects will move, and the camera field as the difficulty level increases or decreases. Oh, this worked on emulator. Uh-oh. We'll reboot it once more. If it doesn't work, then, uh, well. Playing only homebrews, right? Correct. Yes. yes. Only homebrews right now. Hey, blocked monkey. Try it again. I doubt it's going to work a second time, but. Okay, go. Oh, it worked. Hooray. So you have to go find the octopuses. Just octopuses? There's one. Yep, just octopuses. Then okay. hold down the button to capture it. Yay, and you got that one. Yay, you got that one. But don't get the fish in the shot. Oh, Yay. really? Oh, no. You did what it. Happened? You finished the level, oh. I think. Yay. Yeah, see, it counts down. So level two, two more octopuses to go, one more to go. There are games like this. I've never played them. They're just like... Where you take photos of animals in the wild and uh, you try not to capture other animals. Yay, level three. Woo! Okay. So there are Very some simple. moving animals. Oh, octopus just disappeared. There's sharks. Very cute. And octopus is trying to get away. He turns black. It's a very simple game. Yeah. It's very cute. Like a kid's game. Yeah, exactly. And three more to go. Nice. Two more octopus. Is it timed? No. I feel like time. Oh. How do I get those? You can't. Oh, no, oh no, I you can. Just, you just have to. There. Nope. Is that enough? No. Oh, there's one up there. Is that enough? Nope. nope. Do I have to get both of them? No. Get the upper one first. Oh, it got uh, one of them. Hmm. Oh, there's only one to go. Yay! There we go. <laughs> Very cute game. Very simple game. <laughs> on the first says, I hope my proctologist has a better version of the software. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Yep. Oh. And it's not running possibly on an 8-bit computer. <laughs> well, it I might mean, be. I mean, honestly, um, it, could be. it very well could be. Because some of these pieces of medical equipment, their software and very old is very old and runs on old systems. But hopefully not. <laughs> so the last game of the night is called Mazam. Mm. Um, it was made by Bud Games, uh, known as Tonma, mm. uh, on the uh, on the Atari Age forums, and uh, it was originally made in 2000. Let's not game. dwell on that. <laughs> <laughs> 
So here is the person who created the game. Uh, not the person who ported it. So this is a port. Yeah. Mazam is a puzzle game that I invented in 2000. First mm -hmm. published in 2002. Um, and this, the person who made the game is called Malcolm Tyrell. Tyrell? The rules are very simple. The goal is to get the character from the left of the maze to the Mazam to the right. Okay. The character can slide the rows of blocks left and right by pushing them. Okay. And... So you just push them. Do they fall? Uh, nope. They just move left and right by oh. pushing. Oh. Pushing only. And, and do you want to push the least number of blocks? Is that the idea? Nope. You can push as many as you like. All oh. you have to do is get to the end. Mm. And this game has been made on every platform. Mm. This isn't even the first Atari 8-bit version of this game. Oh, it's Rose Slide? The row slides? Yep. Oh. Slide left and right. Gotcha. Um, Exciting. So let's... Oh, where are they? Maybe that's too big. There it is. Ooh. So these are all the versions that have been oh, made. Oh, wow. So Malcolm Tyrell, the person who had created the game, did it for Java and ZX Spectrum. Hmm. Then there's been Amiga, Apple II, Commodore 64, Game Boy, Oric Atmos, SNES, oh, wow. CPM, Coleco, Rockbox. Don't know that one. Java, Mac OS... ZX81, Unexpanded, JavaScript, Windows, TI-8384, BBC Electron, Linux, Mac, DOS, uh, GB2X, another SNES, <laughs> Atari 8-bit yes. in 2012, okay. Puzzle Script, Game Boy Advance, Android, ColecoVision again, Windows Phone, Unix, Linux again, Ardubor, Pico 8, 2017, Windows, Mac OS, Linux again. Wait, when they say Windows Phone, they mean the old Windows phones? Yeah. Like the one I had that was absolutely useless. Yeah, I had one too. 2015. So that's wow. pretty late in its life. That, that, that's a Very retro late. game. Yeah. Uh, retro, yeah. In television, Android, Android, iPhone. <laughs> Polygox, only pregnancy test is missing. <laughs> yes. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nintendo Switch. A Amazon, I guess. Amazon game yeah. system. Yeah. Basic Code, Xbox, and Steam. And the one we're going to be playing is on the Atari 8-bit again. And this is what the original on the ZX Spectrum looked like from 2002. By Malcolm Tyrell, the person who created it. Nice. So you can get a... This person playing is terrible. So just be warned. They can't get past this level. Oh, my. Oh, my. Ah, I'm stuck. Oh, oh you almost my. had it. Well. Anyway, they they can't get past this, so we're not <laughs> gonna we're not gonna watch this. Okay. It is not helpful. <laughs> uh, okay. Play, play, play. Yeah, it's a puzzle game. I like a puzzle Left game. Left it for last. Spend as much time as you want on it. So press left and the button. <clears throat> So, the uh, person who posted this version, Bud Games, uh, this builds from April 16th. It's originally posted on April 11th. Uh-oh. Oh, it froze. Let's see. Try it again. Not enjoying reading that file. Well, well, let's reboot. Just in case. Oh, what? Oh, no. Are what we playing in an emulation after all? <laughs> no. Why? What is happening? Maybe, did you test it out on this? No. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Does it? Hmm. There are there is an older version. Yeah. So I'm gonna try that one. Okay. Older version it is. Got the gray screen on. Yep. We'll just switch back for a second. Sounds good. Cats, do you want to do a little dance? <laughs> Shake your fluffy tail. Yeah. Entertain the crowds. Hmm. No. He's like, I'm full of treats, and I'm high on catnip. <laughs> I'm just relaxing. I'm here. happy where I am. Oh, here he comes. Here's a fluffy tail. Hi. Okay. 
Oh, you're very sweet. Yes. Updated it. Try this one out. Carl G says, PAL versus NTSC issue. Nostalgic says, need the translator to force to 400, 800 or extra memory throwing things off. Mm. I don't understand any of it, but you might. I don't know. I'm I'm running on a real system, so I don't know. There we go. Oh, okay. Now it's working. It's an older version, but it's fine. You'll have to flip back. It just has um, different uh, title screen, I think. There we go. There we go. Oh, goodness. Press it. Press it. Press it. Press it. Press it. Press it. Is it the joystick? Is it a different joystick? Is it on the other port for some stupid reason? Uh, maybe... Oh, you know what? I think mm -hmm. they, the new version had it start with the joystick button. The old version doesn't. Hooray, it's working. Hmm. Your game is not couch compliant. <laughs> no, it is. And. Uh, Restart. Definitely not couch compliant. Uh, on the new version, you can press the joystick button to start it, but you still have to press R on the keyboard to restart. Mm. So even in the new version, it's not couch compliant. Did I screw this up again? Mm, no. Yes. I don't. <laughs> I'm obviously terrible if I can't pass <laughs> level one. So it's the top do do? ones you definitely have to do first. Do I push it over twice? Yes. I think you have to. Um, if I do that, that doesn't help then me. Then you're stuck again. I can't pull back, can I? No, but you can push the bottom ones over to the right twice and then push those over there and then push the bottom ones. No, no, go back one. Then push the bottom ones over. Then push that over. And then push the bottom ones over to the right. Nope, don't push the top ones. Bottom ones over to the right. There you go. Thank you. Terrible. A victory! Terrible. <laughs> and she's the good one oh, at puzzle games. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm learning this for the first time. Kittens, can I task you with pressing the um, R button to restart? <laughs> screw this up so it uh they say hi it's the very first time i coded a game on the atari 8-bit computer i have my 800 xl 40 years ago and it's time to work on it i began two weeks ago reading book and testing the hardware i played mazam mazam on super nes and i thought it'd be a good game for testing um I found the HIR UDOV website and I didn't see any Atari version. Well, there was one. Um, I just, oh no, I just saw an already done version here on Atari Age by XXL. Oh, so I have to apologize for this second version. <laughs> but, uh, but as I have to finish it, I post it. The main purpose of this development was to understand the hardware and watch how many data I can put in the original Atari 400 8K RAM version before making a more complex game. I still have free memory on the player missile RAM, nearly uh, 475 octets. Uh, the game has simple sound effects when you move a crate. 42 levels. It's very quiet. Crank it up. Forty-two levels. 100 percent assembly. Press start to begin and R in game to restart level. Is the fire button used? Nope. <laughs> it would be perfect for a restart. Um, a tap for rewind. Yes, definitely, Carl. That'd be very, very, very helpful. Because sometimes you're like, oh, I don't want to get back to this. I've already moved these crates a bunch and I just made one mistake. So a tap for a rewind and a hold for restart would be absolutely perfect. Oh. Mm. Yay! Well, that took a while. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> you'll, you'll do better at this if you've probably this is played begging this. begging for a rewind feature, Nostalgic yeah. says. Oh, yeah. my God. You, 
Yeah, I mean, you, you can get stuck. Yay! Nope. Dead. And dead. Because you can't pull it. do that. Hold for a railway start! No! I think that's good to go up that far. I think you have to... You can push it over one. Did you push the red one over? I think I did. And I think that was the mistake. Maybe you want to go up through the left. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. The third row cannot go to the left. Then you have to get those purple ones over then. Oh, very good. Ah, ah, hard. <laughs> so if the red can't go to the left, well, I have to push the green. Forced to do that right away. At least, yeah. Now I could push the green all the way to the right, but I don't think that's going to benefit me. I can only do this. Yeah. So I have to do that? No, move the green over one more. There. Now you can go back down. Uh, mm. Mm, there we go. There we go. Oh, you need to move the red one over one first. I believe. I think you're right. Mm. Mm. Maybe. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh my god, that Good was hard. Job. That was challenging. Ugh. Yeah, the color choices for the crates are very bright um, and really nice looking. Good luck. Oh, there's multiple ones separated. Yeah. Uh. How do you, you can't push them though? Hmm. Or is the whole row pushable? Maybe it is. Well, you either have to push that orange or that green. To and fro. Uh, I bet the whole thing moves, yeah. Mm. How many levels did they say? 42. Oh my goodness. Um, so for the April 16th update, I finished to clean the code and added comments. I changed the code in the title screen and saved 60 octets. New feature, press button to start a game and reset a tracked mode when moving player. I changed parts of the code, so now that we now we can relocate RAM addresses automatically. Well, more easily anyway. I shared the source code. It's far from perfect, and I need a lot of optimization. Time to go working on mm. another game. Well, it doesn't seem to unfortunately run the new version. The old version does on my system. Getting exponentially harder. <laughs> There's so many like, oh, wow. So many like physical games like this mm -hmm. where like they're blocks oh where you yeah rotate them yeah. and then you can shift them and yeah where yeah. you make patterns very similar loop to yeah. loop oh boy Mm. 
Mm. You have to get to that purple to move it to the left. I, I bet you have to move the purple over and leave one spot. How would you... Oh. How would you get rid of that purple, though? How would you get rid of that? Kittens! Can you... What did you do? It's oh, destroying my trophy. It's destroying your trophy. Why? Why are you being such a bad kitty? Why are you destroying draconian trophies? Ah, Damn it. Oh, I made it. Over to here now. Hmm. It says loop the loop, so I'm sure you have to loop back around somehow. I still don't know how you get the purple one. Damn it. No, you need to do the opposite. You need to move the red one to the left. Move the green one. Oh, no, you can't. Not far enough. Ah! Uh, oh, uh, no. Move the yellow one. Can you oh. watch that cat? It's Why are bad. you being so bad? Watch it over again. Move the red one to the... It's the furthest. Yeah. To the fur... The red one's furthest to the left, right? Yep. Move... Where are we? <laughs> hey, bit pogos. Psst, psst, psst. Bad cats. Ah. <sighs> So I can get up here, but it's blocked, and the green's already over. And then, then if you go to, and go to the green, yeah, you can't, can you? If I can do one more, then I can go in here. Oh, there we go. Then hmm. you have to loop it again, yeah. Yay! Da -da -da! Woo! Yeehaw! Yeehaw! A little harder. Oh, no. Oh, but it's tiny. How hard could it be? <laughs> I think we're getting the hang of how things kind of work now. Nostalgic says, I also like the player icon What changes what's pushing blocks. Yeah, it goes... Or when it's up against... No, just when it's pushing the block. And after it's pushed the block, it stays. That is cool. And... Very easy to do. Uh, I'm surprised they opted to change the display list to use graphic zero for the nice title since they're not usually they're usually not that long. Perhaps showing showing off. Uh -huh. Got it. Somehow easy. Hey 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 hey. My turn. You Your turn. Cat. You just finished one. A two. But Oops. you're, well, you took a long time, so I deserve <laughs> oh, more Oh, it's time-based, time. eh? Because I'm so good at solving the puzzle, mm. it's I get punished? No. Well, if I'm so good, then you'll be back playing in no time. <laughs> mm. Oh, that orange cannot be moved anymore. Does it need to be? I don't know. I think I screwed that up. I wonder how long that before this <sighs> receives a 2600 port. I am thinking this. How would you do it? No. Dead. Can you uh, reset? Yeah. You can play it if you want. Oh. Oh, you've had trouble now. Um, I was thinking using Playfield as the middle. Hey, hey, star's attacking you. It's attacking you. Arr. Stop going up there. Being very naughty today. Very naughty. Hey, kitten. Mm. Hey, naughty cat. Um, mm. Yeah, if you use play field for the inside pieces, 
Actually, probably what you would want to use is the second player as the pieces you move and make it four wide. And you could have up to eight. Oh. You wouldn't be able to do all the levels though. And then you could use the outside as the play field and make the, the blocks. Hmm. 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 Sack Attack's game Octopusher is similar, but not the same. Hey! Psst, 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 chicken leg. Hey! 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 Oh, he's so bad. Hey! Psst, 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 psst. Don't complain, because you're the bad cat. It's like, stop. Don't prevent me from doing bad things. Come here. Come here. Oh, don't be squeaky. Come here and sit on my lap. Sit in my lap and be a good cat. There we go. Get pets. Pets are better than treats, aren't they? Yeah. There. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. There. Good kitty. Good kitty. Yes. Be a good cat instead of a bad cat. Everybody likes good yeah, cats. I can't move this one. Was it already squished to the left? I moved it. I think that that's that my mistake. mistake. Yeah. Okay. You want to press R? R? You could use missiles as the left and right border. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Missiles as the left and right border. Yeah, you could do this on the 2600 then. That would be very good. Okay, so... Do not move the yellow one. Except one to the right. Don't move See, it. See, don't bother doing that green. So you can do that. But that doesn't help. Um, yeah, you can get in the green. Oh, no, go back. No. The... Mm. 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 So you somehow have to move the reds and to that, and then somehow get out. But that purple only has one. So once you get in it, move it. You can't get back out. Well, yeah, I was gonna. Mm. You can go up and around, but... As soon as I push that over, it'll never be able to move. But maybe you don't need to go up there. Maybe you go through the right-hand side? And these two things are... Nah. Mm. How do you ever move that red? Away. That's the only thing you can do is this green and blue. So you somehow have to move the red away and then loop back somehow. Damn it. I think everything has to be pushed to the far left. Far left? The, I go up the to purple. the purple. So go, mm, go there. <laughs> then you can't do that. Oh, you just need to maybe be on the other side of the blue. Yeah. Oh, you can... No, okay, go back to that position. Go down. No, no, there. Can you push the blue over and then the purple over? Oh, no, there's the red one. Do not that. <laughs> then I can go in here. But then you can't move the red over and get back.
those two need to be over to the far left. Which two? The blue and the yellow, the, the blue and the green at the bottom need to be both over to the far left, but I'm not mm. sure. Reset. Mm. Bottom to the left. All the stuff on the bottom goes to the left. Somehow. Yeah. Easier said than done. <laughs> There's only one. Purple, go to the left. Blue. Mm. Up, up. Move! Out of the way! I think you might be right with that, Vitoko. Everything moves, like get everything over to the left and then somehow up and around. If I move the yellow, I'm screwed. Yeah, if you move the yellow to the left, you can't go down back back to the left. It's probably gonna kill me anyway. No, so that has me screwed. Nostalgic says this is a tough one. Yeah, it, it really is. I I can't figure it out. Like either the solution has the orange all the way to the left or all the way to the right. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it shouldn't be pushed all the way to the left, the orange. Well, unfortunately, once you do it, you're stuck. Because then you could go up and around if you didn't push. Yeah. Well, no, you couldn't. Can you hit the reset? I'm just... Yeah, I think that yellow can't move. Stop being destructive. I know it's in your nature, but fight it. Fight the urge to destroy Atari. Come here. No, you're now destroying the cable. Come cuddle. No, don't complain. I'll have some forced cuddles. There we go. Forest cuddles. The best kind of cuddles, hey? Yes, you're purring. Good purr cap. Hmm. Hmm. Hi. I screwed that Ken, why are you so bad? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, he's got a naughty tail. Psst, 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 psst. Oh, he's so bad. You. <laughs> says, don't tell me what to do. You're not my real dad. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. No. 
Nothing up there for you. Anybody solved it out there? I'm Anybody sure see has. As, see anything we're missing? Like, does the red have to be to the left? Does the orange have to be to the left or right? I think you have to move that orange. Hey. Psst. Stop it. Come here. Play with this. It's empty. Terry. They're not deceived. They're like, there's nothing in that ball. You can't trick us. So close. It is. Yeah. It's just, you just block yourself every time you do anything, right? Mm hmm. One more. Yep, one more try. And then I'm done. Yeah, this one's tough. Tough, 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 tough. Be good to have um, a level number on the screen as well, so you know what so you know what level you're on, and a way to get back to that level from the title screen. No, you can't have it with treats in it because nobody says you can have it. No, we can't give it to you. Just push the red over. <laughs> it's that easy. I know, it's the purple. The purple. Oh, I messed that up. Hmm, okay. One more. Think you've got something? I think that purple has to be all the way to the left. And somehow you get it. Nope, nobody wants to feed you. No, nobody online wants treat balls. Nope, no matter how much you cry. Oh, louder for the people in the back. Ah, <laughs> you're trying to force the blocks. Warning, warning. warning. Oh, kittens. The treat ball is loose. Kittens, look, somebody does love you. Who loves you? Gamma Dev loves you. It's treat ball time. Yeah. Yeah. That's the key. You've got uh, it? No, but. Oh, there's just scraps in this one. Let's merge these two things because this is. Don't need two of them. There we go. The treat ball is loose, kittens. Load it up with treats. Not too many, but you know, a decent amount. Yeah, you're getting some. Yeah, one second. Can you grab the box from over there? Hey, hey. Hey, naughty cats get nothing. <laughs> Is that how it works? Naughty cats get nothing. That's one ball loaded. Oh, no. just going everywhere. Disgusting. And second ball is loaded. Just have to put the top on the second ball. Okay. Calm down. Where's the top? Oh, I've lost the top to it. Well, oh, there's one ball. Okay, let's switch over to the cat cam. Where's the top to the other one? I lost it. Maybe you knocked it down. I guess you knocked it down. You get one ball to play with then. One ball. Thank you, Gamma Dev, for triggering the treat ball. The cats are very appreciative. <laughs> they are it's very, calm very them down. appreciative. Let's cat cam! Slide them out.
Is there something about a fresh box of treats that appeals to more than a half box of treats? Yeah, they probably smell more. That's probably it. And Sprite has given up. Oh. Oh. No, you can't open the lid. That's cheating. There you go. Can't cheat. Is it too closed up? Are none coming out? <laughs> he's getting frantic. And he's... Oh, no, he got one. Okay. They're coming out. How goes the battle? I still feel like... I shouldn't have pushed those bottom ones over. Oh. Nuts. Let me know if you want to reset. Yeah, reset one more time. Put the treat ball down where it's barely open enough for one to come out. And I'll keep them occupied for a long time. <laughs> and Sprite's just watching. Waiting for the right moment to pounce on a treat when Atari is too slow. got another one. Oh, very slow dispensing. It's perfect. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, no. This one is hard. The Tower of Annoy. <laughs> it it kind of is, in a way. <gasps> how did you do it? Did you know how you did it, or you just? I I had an idea of what I was trying to do. No. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am done. Eventually. I'm done. How many? If you have a million monkeys working. Uh... <laughs> Or one monkey for a million hours? One monkey for a million hours <laughs> on a typewriter. Eventually they'll write a Shakespearean play. Or, you know, an AI. <laughs> yeah, just going... In about... Oh, no time at all. Two weeks. Two yeah. weeks? I don't know. Oh, no, they're getting pretty good. Yeah. Um, so let's check what's coming up on the show. Uh, it's like at the top of the show, I said uh, we have the exclusive world premiere of VHZC's new game on Friday, mm -hmm. along with a bunch of other 2600 games. It's a 2600 game. Excellent. Called Robo Tito, and Robo it has Tito. an extendo arm. Really? You grab the ceiling, pull itself up. <gasps> Ooh, it's that's cool. exciting. I'm, yep. I'm looking forward to that. Grappling. Yeah. Uh, grappling hook almost <laughs> uh, and ninja combat uh, and maybe stellar drive mars paddlefield burton and butterflies and the next tuesday we have a, a live interview with carl forehan about mm. his brand new game microvaders awesome. we have an exclusive update from that game that would be a lot of fun excellent lynx shooter oh little robot robo tito yes Little He's robot. a little robot that goes yeah. around a maze. Nice. Um, and uh, yes, so that is what's coming up. And uh, we're almost into May, which brings us Secret Homebrew from Champ Games is coming Ooh, up as well. Oh, that's exciting. Yes. That'll be good. Be like, we don't know what I it like is. like Secret Homebrews. Could be anything. I like surprises. Yep. Thank you, Dan. And uh, in just a month, we'll be playing through every single classic 7800 homebrew mm. on some After Darks, three After Darks. Uh, Tito is the name for Albert. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, very cool. So it has a uh, kind of double meaning. Mm. Little robot Albert. <laughs> Um, and uh, we have some other developer spotlights that are not quite in place yet, but they are coming up. 
Steve Englehart, Lauren Stavely, Chris Walton later in the year. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us today, going through some uh, new Atari 8-bit games. There's some cool concepts in there. Very, very cool concepts. I love yep. seeing people's creativity with these little these yeah. game comp competitions. So. Yeah, it really, it's really think, neat. brings out the best in people. This great cat is going nuts. He loves the treat ball. If he had that much enthusiasm for the treat ball as as the bells, oh he would God. win every time. Yeah, look at him. He's like, still spinning around in circles. Like Sprite. He's just, just <laughs> spinning, spinning, spinning and spin, spinning. Spin. Sprite is just patiently watching. And Sprite's just waiting to see if one pops out right in front of him so he can just oh. grab it really quick. <laughs> he is fast. Um, round so and round and thanks round. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Yes, Playing thank some you. brand new homebrews. Um, you can uh, download most of those on the Atari Age Homebrew uh, Atari Age Forum. Uh, they're all linked in my list for 2024 mm. 8 bit Atari Homebrews. You can uh, find them there. Nice games and, and a the prank. prank. Nice. Yeah, it yeah. seemed like a prank. Uh, <laughs> so thanks for hanging out with us. Polygox, a Nostalgic Vitoko, Dan AVC, Carl G, Gamma Dev, 8 bit Poet. Uh, 502 Blocks Monkey 1, uh, Beef Supreme 07, um, Chitlet La, WWD Kong. Uh, Some of these are dark. That's Beef Supreme. Yep. Ivory Tower Collections. Nostalgics oh. and Polygox and Gamma Dev. Atari's given up. Atari's given up. Sprite's finally Sprite's getting his turn. turn. Alnafer. Uh, Put on that. Uh, back to the cat cam. Let's see who else. Huge ass. Double down. Arm scar coder. Arm scar coder. I missed that. Yeah, right, right at, the, at the, beginning. the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sprite's patience take, <laughs> pays yes, off. Yes, yes. just gave up. Sprite has this really cool way. He'll bat, bat it with his paw, and then he'll push it with his nose. He has some of the best ball handling skills I've ever seen of a cat. Yeah, is he pushing with his nose? He was a little bit, yeah. Okay. It's very, very cute. So let's uh, send you over to Atari Beer Pong. Nice. They always seem to be uh, broadcasting at night. And um, so thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, we'll be back on Friday, mm -hmm. I think, with Darcy. Darcy? Yeah, it's supposed to be Darcy, I, I think. I think so. Yep. Um, with VHSC's new game. <sighs> So, Sorry, I'm going to miss that. That'll yeah, be fun. Yeah. I'll get Should to play fun. it, though. But maybe Darcy won't be here and you'll get to play it. Well, you never know. Hopefully Darcy <laughs> yeah. comes, though. Yeah. So, uh, a bonne soirée. Mm -hmm. Is that how you say it? Bonne soirée, yes. Oh, excellent. Good evening. Bonne soirée, everyone. And uh, we will see you on Friday. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.